it with more. That service member stood out here in the cold from dusk till dawn guarding the flags. Beneath the flags, standing under the light of the memorial stands a Lance Corporal. The Lance Corporal, we didn't ask him to come out here. He came out here on his own. He stood for hours until the sun came up. He was here to protect this place of honor and that's the awesome part of it. In the last month, the memorial has had two flags stolen, a U.S. Navy flag and most recently one working to prevent suicide. One of our flags that was taken, we actually had a suicide prevention flag made specifically for this memorial and that was one of the ones that was taken. Memorial officials still not sure who's behind it. I'm concerned about why they did it. In other words, do they have an issue? Is it just a kid pulling a prank? Is it someone that's disgruntled about something? If I don't know what it is, it's going to continue. But they're hoping they come forward, and if they do, it'll be an opportunity to talk. We're giving them an opportunity now. If they hear this, you're looking for attention, you got it. Come on out, let's talk, let's find out what the deal is, let's see if we can resolve it. In the meantime, veterans spend some time hammering out the final preps on decorations ahead of the Veterans Day Parade adding some extra sparkle for those who come to visit. The United States, it wouldn't be here without the men and the women that defend the freedoms that we have. Shelby Montgomery, KOCO 5 News.